I enjoy having a fun round of miniature golf with my friends, and there's a new game called Infinite Mini Golf that tries to bring that to console. But is this game better than getting a hole in one? Or does it just end up missing the course and go way out of bounds? Infinite Mini Golf is, well, a mini golf game where you get to play with up to eight different players. You have local and online play, and there's a variety of different courses and course styles that you'll get to play through. The game has a default male and female avatar that you get to customize a little bit, but most of the stuff is locked. You'll have to earn points and complete goals throughout the course of your matches in order to earn those tickets and be able to buy a large majority of the items included here. The game currently features three different themes of courses to play on. You have ones inside of like a children's room, you have ones on a snowy Christmas themed area, and then a Halloween scary type one. The game features a small handful of different play modes, with the major single player one being the tournament mode. Here you pick your theme, and then start off on the first course on easy difficulty. Complete all four courses for that theme, and you'll unlock the normal difficulty. Go through those, and you'll unlock hard, so on and so forth for each of the themed experiences, where you'll be able to earn a decent amount of money and complete challenges, so you'll be able to customize that avatar. Outside of tournament, there is a quick play mode as well as the editor mode. There is a ton of already uploaded courses and I'm sure more will be coming, but you get to pick your themed world that you want to go on and then create your course, editing together all the different holes for it. There's a decent amount of stuff you can throw on to these different holes to make them harder or make them easier. You can also put in plenty of hills and other hazards that people will have to deal with and then you can upload it and people can download your course and play it. All these courses can be done local multiplayer, online multiplayer, or if you just want to jump into single player and download whichever ones you want to. So technically there's endless amounts of mini golf courses for you to compete on. When it comes to the golf itself, it takes a little bit to get used to, but you'll basically be able to aim up and then you use the right stick in order to power up your shot. Thankfully, you don't have to swing it forward with the right stick. You just have to kind of pull it back, get it to the power range you want, then let go, and then your golfer will swing. Thankfully, you can adjust the sensitivity of this in the options menu in case it's a little bit too fast or a little bit too slow for your liking. Even when playing for a while though, I still had some times where I accidentally hit the ball at a different power level than I was trying to because of just the sensitivity of the stick. For the most part, the in-game courses are pretty fun to play. They offer a variety of different challenges and do get harder if you're able to make it through. The game uses a scoring system instead of just a straight-up classic golf scoring system, though you can switch to the classic golf scoring system in the options menu if you want to, especially if you're going to be playing with your friends. The points all get calculated by how fast you're able to complete the hole and if you're able to get stuff like airtime using the variety of different power-ups on the course themselves. There's a decent amount here, like a rocket that will propel you forward, a little drone helicopter that will make you fly over the course, but it's a little bit hard to make sure you're going to land where you want to. There's glue to stop you in your track so you don't go too far from where you want to put your shot, and a few other things thrown in. There's also various course hazards and course aids. Basically whatever themed course you've picked there's kind of a mascot character on there and you can actually interact with this character by getting the ball close to them and they'll potentially knock it either in the correct direction or sometimes away from the hole depending upon where they are situated on the course. They have a small cutscene that plays when this happens which I wish could be skipped but thankfully they're not exceptionally long. From the technical side of things, the game ran smoothly. I didn't run into major glitching, crashing, or slowdown. I did have a few times on the in-game courses where my ball kind of got stuck. It was put in a bad position no matter what I was doing. was unable to get the ball unstuck unless I had gotten a power-up. And even the timing sometimes when you would grab like a jump power-up and have to then hit the ball and activate the jump right away wouldn't end up working. It wasn't on a ton of the holes, but it was a bit frustrating at times. I also wish there wasn't so much that that was locked behind the in-game money system. When you're leveling up your character, you earn the tickets for individual styles of clothing. So you'll earn tickets for glasses, tickets for shoes, and you can only spend those tickets and money on those particular types of accessories. And it took me a while to finally get stuff like clothing and hair, but that may have just been luck of the draw as you unlock card packs for completing the courses, and thus you get random loot because of it. 
Infinite Mini Golf is available now for $14.99 on the PS4, Xbox One, and PC, and it'll also be coming to the Nintendo Switch. It does not have a full trophy list or platinum, though, unfortunately, on the PS4. Overall, I enjoy Infinite Mini Golf. I like mini golf style of games, and too often they're just kind of shovelware thrown on the systems without a whole lot of variety or even decent playing controls for them. Infinite Mini Golf, though, with its course editor and the amount of content here, will at least keep me playing for a bit, and hopefully I can get some friends to join me along for a few matches. With everything said, though, I'm going to be giving Infinite Mini Golf a 7 out of 10. But anyway, guys, it's going to wrap up this review. I'd like to thank you for watching, and of course, I. Hope you enjoyed.